Hi everyone, Gay Guide here, and today we're going to talk about the pleasure principle. So the pleasure principle uh, is basically developed by Sigmund Freud, and it states that humans are born with this instinctual desire to seek out pleasure and avoid pain. And this sort of instinct is with us from birth. Uh, the human brain has what they call a pleasure center, and when activated, it releases a certain set of chemicals into our brains, serotonin and other chemicals, that, that basically make it feel really good. And this pleasure center is first activated when we're newborns and we start eating for the first time. Um, but as we grow older, you know, basically we find new and different ways to activate that pleasure center, and there are a lot of them. And this drive to activate that pleasure center or find new ways to activate the pleasure center is going to come into play with a lot of topics that we talk about on this channel. Um, you know, many of the ways that we activate them are harmless if used in moderation. But almost all of the ways that we can activate our pleasure center do come with the risk of abuse and addiction, which we'll also be talking about. Um, I, I think the most common way that we activate our pleasure center is through food. You know, think about it. Uh, it's it's the first way that, that it gets activated, and it's some way that we activate it, you know, multiple times throughout the day. Whenever we eat a meal, we don't just eat whatever's in front of us. We don't just eat the cheapest or or the thing that is is most available. We eat what we think tastes the best. You know, and you know, putting something in your mouth that that you think tastes really good does activate that pleasure center, and it feels good to eat something that you think tastes really good. Um, another of the biggest ways that we activate our pleasure center, which we will definitely talk about a lot on this channel, is sex. Sex feels good. And people have been having sex uh, long before we even knew that it caused procreation. Uh, and we've been doing it because it, it feels good. Uh, you know, there are lots of different ways to have sex. There are lots of different things that we can do to enhance the sexual experience, to, to sort of get extra jolts of those pleasure juices. Um, those are called fetishes, and we'll definitely be talking about them here as well. And, you know, even if there's not another willing participant to engage in the sexual activity, there's also masturbation. And I think masturbation gets sort of a bad rap uh, for some pretty dumb reasons, but it's probably one of the safest ways to activate the pleasure center and, and one of the most effective ones. Um, it, but it, it doesn't come with its, its own risks. There are certainly risks of porn addiction and uh, you know masturbation addiction and what Dan Savage calls the grip of death, which is a, a, a sort of danger for, for men. Um, but again, we'll, we'll get to masturbation. I'll definitely do a whole video on masturbation, so we'll talk about all that stuff later. Um, Let's see, what else? Uh, music activates the pleasure center. Sleep, oh my god, crawling into bed at the end of a long, hard day. Oh, that feels so good sometimes. <laughs> Sleep is definitely a good one. Um, another very popular way to activate the pleasure center is through drugs. Uh, and I'm talking, you know, there are legal drugs like caffeine and, and tobacco and alcohol that, that people use often, and marijuana more and more is, is legal these days. But there are also some good, uh, some, some good illegal drugs like MDMA or magic mushrooms that can also do it pretty well. Um, the, the, the thing about drugs is moderation is key. Drugs have a, a potentially high risk for abuse and addiction. And, uh, you know, there, there are drugs that can get you addicted right from the start, like heroin. Um, if, you, if you've ever read some of the stories of people for the first time and they tried heroin, it sounds terrifying. <laughs> like, basically, you can get hooked right away from the start. It, it feels that good that all you want to do is get another fix, and that is just dangerous. Um, and then there are other drugs that can do serious damage to your body, just even the, for the first time doing them. Something like, like bath salts can, can cause serious damage to your brain, and you definitely want to stay away. Um, again, we'll, we'll definitely be talking about drugs a lot on this channel, um, but, but for now, just that they are a very common way uh, to, to activate our, our pleasure centers. Um, on the opposite end of the risk spectrum, there's volunteering. And it feels good to help people. It's, it's definitely one of my, my pleasure triggers. I love being helpful for the people around me. So that's definitely one of the more innocent ways you can activate it. And there's been a lot of research lately of social media's impact on the pleasure center. And it's shown that social media notifications can trigger that pleasure center as much as some of the more common drugs do these days. Think about it. It feels really good to see the number of likes go up on, on your mo most recent post. And when we hear that notification go off on our phone, we can't help but check it and get that next fix. And finally, for a lot of people, even pain 
if administered under a certain set of rules, can trigger a pleasure center. And this has led to a very healthy BDSM community, which we will definitely be talking about later on this channel. And that brings me to my next point about pleasure triggers, is that they are different for everybody. Uh, the things that trigger my pleasure center could be very different from the things that trigger yours, and we shouldn't judge each other based on what triggers our pleasure centers. Uh, this is particularly relevant uh, when we start talking about sex. And uh, I think the word fetish has sort of a bad connotation to it, but it really shouldn't. I mean, fetish is basically uh, a, a little sort of enhancement to the, the pleasure trigger. Um, it's something that, that turns you on just a little bit extra. Um, and, and everybody has them. Everybody has them. They're all completely different. And they could be from anything from innocent, just liking different body parts like butts or boobs um, to things like dirty talk and, and role play. And, and then again, getting into that being BDSM community. Again, every, everyone has their own sort of different things that, that turn them on, and you have to keep that in mind, and, and don't judge other people just because they found one way uh, triggers their pleasure center a little more that, that wouldn't really trigger yours. I'll definitely be talking about fetishes a lot on this channel, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I, I do also want to touch base a bit on abuse and addiction. Um, addiction is, uh, you know, basically when your brain gets stuck in a loop, and it starts seeking a, a pleasure trigger again and again. And this can take a very dark turn when that, that quest for that pleasure trigger starts to interfere with, with your life and your relationships with other people. And, and you know, brain scans have shown that addicts really sometimes have a physical change in, in their body that causes their brain to get stuck in this loop. And that's why addiction is treated and should be treated as a disease and looked upon with compassion and understanding. Um, addiction is often best overcome through the help of support with family and friends. Um, so, so do keep that in mind if you, if you or someone that you love is, is struggling with addiction. I'll put some links down in the description below uh, with more information about overcoming addiction. Uh, but for today, I want to finish up uh, just by saying that pleasure plays an important part in our lives. Uh, you know, that, that seek, that drive to seek out new ways to activate our pleasure center can drive us humans to do some pretty weird shit. <laughs> and on this channel, I'm going to talk about some of the weird shit I've done to, to try and seek out, uh, you know, that, that pleasure trigger. And I'll, you know, a lot, some of them have worked and some of them have not. And, and I think they're always fun to talk about, uh, you know, those different experiments that we do. Uh, but I think it's also important to distinguish the difference between pleasure and happiness because pleasure is fleeting. Pleasure is the release of chemicals in your brain, but those chemicals eventually fade over time and that feeling goes away. Whereas happiness is that lasting joy that you get from living a fulfilling life. And some people get the two confused. And some people spend their lives seeking pleasure after pleasure and confusing that with happiness. And, and it's definitely not the same thing. Um, if you do want some tips on how to live a happy life, uh, I will put a link to my video for tips on how to be happy for you here. Uh, but that's really all I have for you for today. Um, but I'm curious, you know, what, what are the sort of things that trigger your pleasure center? Um, let, let's keep this conversation uh, going in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like uh, this video and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with some upcoming topics that I have coming because we've got some good ones coming up. Um, if you have a specific topic or question you want me to cover, you can leave it in any of my comment sections below or you can send me an email to thegayguide at gmail.com. But in the meantime, uh, get out there and be who you needed growing up.